Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate this year's India Mobile Congress, which is scheduled to start from December 8th, according to industry body COAI. The fourth edition of the three-day telecom industry event will be held online for the first time due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. The title theme of IMC 2020 will be inclusive innovation, smart, secure and sustainable. Around 210 national and international speakers and over 150 exhibitors are expected to participate in the annual event. Vivo has launched a new mid-range smartphone in India, the Vivo Y51. It features a 6.58-inch Full HD Plus display and an unnamed Snapdragon 6 series processor, paired with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. There's a 48-megapixel triple rear camera setup, a 16-megapixel selfie snapper and a 5000mAh battery with support of 18 watts fast charging. The Vivo Y51 is priced at 17,990 rupees, but there's no word yet on its availability. Vivo has started rolling out the latest Android 11 update to its recently launched Vivo V20 Pro 5G. The update is 3.6 GB in size and also brings along the November 2020 Android security patch. Android 11 brings several new features including a separate section for messaging apps and a chat bubble similar to Facebook Messenger. There's also new media controls, a new screen recorder, a system-level smart home control menu, more restrictive permission settings and more. Vivo has launched a new 6GB RAM variant for its Vivo Y30 in India. The smartphone packs the same specs as the 4GB plus 128GB variant except for the RAM capacity and will be available across online stores for 14,990 rupees. Notable features of the Vivo Y30 include a MediaTek Helio P35 processor, a 13-megapixel quadray camera setup and a 5,000mAh battery unit. A Chinese court has published a verdict on a contentious issue involving the Chinese smartphone maker Jioni. The court detailed that more than 20 million Jioni phones were intentionally injected with Trojan horse via an app between December 2018 and October 2019. The report adds that this particular app was used as a tool to profit from users through unsolicited ads and other illegitimate means. Although shocking, this seems to be a common practice with cheap Chinese smartphones in including Tenko and Infinix, who were also found guilty of the same malicious activity. Several users are reporting on Apple developer forums and Reddit that they are experiencing severe battery drain issues upon updating their iPhones to the iOS 14.2. The issue seems to be affecting older models such as iPhone XS, iPhone 7, iPhone 6S and first-generation iPhone SE. The affected iPhones are reportedly losing over 50% charge in less than 30 minutes and are taking longer than usual to juice up. Nokia is reportedly planning to soon launch a new mid-ranger, the Nokia 5.4, and before the device is officially unveiled, tech news website MySmartPrice has detailed the full specifications of the phone. The Nokia 5.4 is tipped to feature a 6.39-inch HD Plus IPS LCD display and a Snapdragon 662 SoC paired with 4GB RAM and 128GB of storage. There's apparently a 48-megapixel quad camera setup at the back and a 16-megapixel selfie snapper and a 4000mAh battery life. LG is looking to launch two new mid-range smartphones in India. The LG K42 and LG K52 have reportedly been spotted on Indian BIS certification website, hinting at their impending arrival in the country. Both the smartphones were unveiled in September in select markets and are MIL STD 1080G certified, which means that they can withstand extreme environments. The LG K52 has a 48 megapixel quad rear camera setup, while the LG K42 has a 13 megapixel primary lens.
The Oppo F17 Pro has received a price cut of Rs 1500 rupees in India 3 months after it was launched in the country. The smartphone is now effectively priced at Rs 21490 for the sole 8GB plus 128GB storage model. It features a 6.43-inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display, a MediaTek Helio P95 chipset, and a 48-megapixel quad-ray camera setup.